say. Any questions? Can you define knowledge that does not concern you? You have said this in, the, in other sohbets. What knowledge should we avoid online and offline? What knowledge makes us spiritually dirty? Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim If the person who is asking this question, if he is in this way, if his bayat is through us to sahib al-sayf, then this word is for you. If you are not in this way, these words are not for you. That hadith is for everyone, definitely. Because that's a saying of the Prophet ﷺ. The sign that Allah does not love the servant is when you see that servant being busy with malayani. And they ask him, what is malayani, Ya Rasulullah? And he says, knowledge that doesn't concern you. It's very difficult to understand this, not concept, reality in these days. Because there's so much confusion. Now everything they see that is printed, they think that is knowledge. Because we have been taught in this system, everything that we read, it is knowledge. And we are taught is in the first commandment, the first order to recite. So we think reciting, it is through reading too. It is not. That ayat is saying, recite what? You don't know the ayat? Who knows that ayat? Say. Recite in the name of your Lord. Who what? Who created you. Because to recite so many people to read, to get knowledge. So many people can just get knowledge for their own evilish, selfish, greedy, Shaitanic reasons. But to read, to recite in the name of your Lord is completely different. But what Lord? Just so there's no uh, confusion. What Lord? Because so many people, they take their egos, their shaitans, their arrogance as a Lord. Correct? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, recite in the name of your Lord who created you. That's clear. You're worshipping to your desires, your desire did not create you. You're worshipping to your parents who are not in the way of Allah and His Prophet, who are stopping you in the way of Allah. They did not create you. Don't take other lords before your Lord. So now, I'm answering this question to the person who is in this way. What is the highest knowledge? What is the highest knowledge that no one can argue with? Knowledge of what? Huh? Knowledge of Allah. There is no higher knowledge than that. Knowledge of Allah. And the reason of our creation is to know Him and to worship Him. How are we going to get the knowledge of Allah? It is through knowledge of yourself. As the Holy Prophet ﷺ is saying, the one who knows himself, he knows his Lord. Now, you can make it very easy to understand just on this. Whatever that you're reading now, Whatever that you're taking, offline, online, magazine, everywhere. Is it making you to know more of your Lord? No. That is Malayani. Especially in this way. Is it making you to know more about yourself? No. You don't need to watch any more egoistic things to know that you have an ego, by the way. Oh, this is good. It teaches me, you know. It's like No, you already know you have that. So now, you're going to read something, you're going to hear something, you're going to witness something that is going to teach you about yourself, that is going to teach you about your Lord. This is the highest knowledge because we're only concerned about highest knowledge. We're not concerned about any other knowledge. We're not saying they're not knowledge. It is knowledge, but it doesn't concern us because in this way, what concerns us is what? 
to know ourselves and to know our Lord. This is the highest knowledge and the only the most important thing. So we're busy with that. Don't worry, it is not. Uh, going to bring you to Malayani is not going to bring you to dirty areas. You're following a shay now. It is easy. Who is going to teach you about yourself, not yourself? The one who knows himself knows his Lord. But you need a guide to show you yourself. Follow that guide. Listen, observe, understand. Then you will know what is good knowledge and what is knowledge that doesn't concern you. Give you a very simple example. You're a doctor. What kind of doctor are you? Lung. Malanda? Lung doctor. Huh? Lung. Lungs. Is a doctor specializing in lungs. Not everyone is given that. He's a lung doctor. But he likes mm, to read things about the heart to become a heart doctor. And he spends a lot of time reading about it, his passion. And he does it so much that his work as a lung doctor, it goes down. He's being so busy with that. That is Malayani. It is still related in the field. It is still medicine. It is Malayani. Today, 99.99% of believers, Muslims in this world, obsessed not busy, obsessed with Malayani. Things that don't Are you a scholar? No. Back off. Are you a politician? No. Back off. You may have an opinion, but don't posit your opinion as if you're a politician. You may have an opinion about religion, maybe. Everybody has an opinion today. Not understanding whatever they touch there, it can be a fire. You can say things about Trump, for instance. Nothing will happen to you, maybe. But maybe you don't like a certain imam, especially these days. It's very trendy not to like the imams of the mezhabs. And you say you slander them, fire will reach to you. To know what is real knowledge and knowledge that is beneficial to you in these days, that is marifat, that is secret knowledge. If you follow properly, you listen, you understand. It's pretty easy to understand. So many of us, before we come, so many things we want to know, we want to learn, we want to see. Correct? Thinking everything is important because they tell us everything is important. You have to read, you have to know history, everything. You have to know philosophy, everything. You have to know this, science. Now we're coming here. What is your job? A shepherd. Drop everything, take care of the sheep. But you know what? Through taking care of your sheep, all those questions that you have, it will be answered through the job that you're doing. You have philosophical questions, you understand now what are important and what's not important to ask, and the important things are going to stay, and you will find out through the work that you're doing and through the sohbet. Take everything from your shaykh. It will be clean. You eat from here, from here, from here, from here. You don't know if they wash their hands. You don't even know if they have gusul, they're preparing their food and you eat. You're going to get sick. Ah, oh, but I'm also following my shaykh, yeah. But you're eating from everywhere. Be careful. So many people are not going to agree to what I say, definitely. They're not going to like it. Doesn't matter. These are the words of my Shaykh. He has said this enough for all of us to understand. Al-Fatiha. <laughs>